Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by for the Ag Report. The first case of Palmer Amaranth has been confirmed in Montana. The noxious weed was found in a residential planter near Shelby and the Department of Agriculture says it was most likely introduced from contaminated bird seed. Palmer Amar Amaranth is a fast growing prolific seeding plant that can easily develop herbicide resistance causing extensive crop losses. An NDSU study found that in one year plants had already developed resistance to glyphosate. There's zero tolerance for Palmer Amaranth seed in Montana and a task force at the Department of Ag can help landowners identify and manage populations. Well, during the Montana Stock Growers Mid-Year Meeting, the 2023 Environmental Stewardship Award was presented to the Goggins Ranch in Madison County. The ranch is owned and managed by family members Pat Goggins, Janet Goggins Endicott, and Rachel Endicott. They've established a diversity of plant species along riparian areas of two perennial streams to provide habitat for wildlife and invest in water conservation practices to maximize forage production and minimize waste of irrigation water. Rachel told me it's a true honor to receive the award. We're just thrilled and so honored to be recognized for the conservation work that we've been doing. We have great partnerships with a lot of different agencies that we wouldn't have been able to do a lot of this work without. My grandparents bought the home place in Ennis in 1959, and my grandpa always told us that we want to leave the place better than we found it, and that's certainly something that fits with what we've done to be considered for this award. Well, thanks for starting your week with us. We'll see you back here in an hour to talk about our markets. We asked Montana farmer Walt Sales about the challenges of mental health in agriculture. Another drought, there always is. There's always gonna be another something. I grew up in a generation of, you pulled yourself up by your bootstraps, but it's become evident is what do you do if you can't even find those bootstraps? If you need to talk to somebody, go to beyondtheweather.com for free counseling for Montana Ag Producers. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us back here for the Ag Report. A major win for pulse crop producers as India has agreed to remove retaliatory tariffs on chickpeas, lentils and other ag products. India began placing tariffs on pulse crops in 2017 to increase domestic prices. Those tariffs were then raised in 2018 in response to steel and aluminum tariffs put in place by the Trump administration. Without India as a viable market for pulses, Montana farmers lost more than $150 million in annual crop sales from a high of more than $329 million in 2016 to $177 million in 2020. Well, turning to our markets, after falling to one-month lows, feeder cattle futures regained $7 in two days as corn prices fell back to earth. Cash cattle trade, though, down $3 to $5 with live sales from $180 to $186 and dressed $288 to $291. Northern Livestock Video had a great sale, topped out at $343 on some 460-pound steers. Light five weights from $301 to $313, upper five weights $273 to $294, and six weight steers mainly $260 to $275. At the Newell Sheep Yards, lambs were steady to higher with 70 to 95 pounders, ranging 170 to 179. And as traders saw the moisture in the forecast, the grain market closed last week lower. That should help to provide more support for the crop as we push toward July. And the market is watching drought concerns in Russia, India, and the EU, which could support world wheat values. Well, that's going to do it for today's report. Thanks so much for joining us and have a great week.